touch upon airline connectivity and airline pricing as one of the reasons maybe some of these countries get more people than <coughs> we lose out on. I mean, uh, to uh, look at connectivity, when you look at India or South India and Sri Lanka, it's uh, South India is far better connected than Sri Lanka in terms of airlines, capacity, and uh, frequency from directly from Europe and other parts of the world. So, uh, and we see that a lot of these airlines who have come out of these 25 uh, policy are introducing flights directly into India. We have uh, the new carriers, or rather the uh, flag carriers, Spicejet, Jet Airways. All these airlines are commencing flights from many of those points, Indigo into Trivandrum, the latest was a direct flight. Direct all, all these flights are coming in. So 2016, we'll see a lot of uh, new flights coming in to Kerala, which will be a big boost in terms of domestic. And in terms of international, <coughs> we're expecting the uh, <coughs> North Kerala airport as well to come up. Uh, there has been uh, a slight slackening in terms of Calicut because of the uh, runway, runway, because of airlines withdrawing and coming into Cochin. But uh, that is also being uh, kind of sorted out in terms of everybody is planning their wide body operations, or sorry, narrow body narrow operations body. into uh, uh, Calicut. Cochin is taking more flights which are coming in now. And the latest was the uh, uh, waiver which CIL has offered for any carrier who is operating direct flights from Europe. So, you know, there is a lot of uh, activity in terms of aviation industry coming in and pushing for more direct capacity coming into Kerala. Uh, of, of course, see, uh, last season when we saw, uh, especially in North India and uh, Arashtra, Bombay, we saw uh, destinations being sold, Colombo, uh, Goa, Kerala. These were the three prime ones which were sold from North India, which itself is a very good sign. And Kerala has been uh, priced, uh, you had brackets. Mm -hmm. We had prices of Kerala below Colombo as well. But of course, those were uh, the uh, three-star properties which did not compare with what products were offered. And people would always like to go to an international destination rather than, you know, they would like to say that they went to Sri Lanka. Of course, uh, the regulations have been quite good. The ETA is open, so they've really marketed it well. One major point, like uh, Mr. Joseph Norrell said, cleanliness is, is very key, what we should look at. We need to look at uh, people feeling more comfortable coming here and going around. Uh, if you go to Sri Lanka, you, you don't see them later. And, you know, uh, recently I had a lot of travel in North India. And I was really surprised the way uh, Jaipur has uh, changed. Uh, it used to be a city or a, or a state which used to be like Kerala. It was later all the way. But the way they are cleaning the city, they have uh, sweepers 24 hours on the main roads, on the streets. We So I think the local administration and the state tourism should come up and come up with some kind of mechanism where we clean up our uh, roads. Sunil, one of the questions that everybody has been asking is, you look at the pricing, okay, it's cheaper for a person from Bombay or Delhi to go to Bangkok or Singapore rather than coming to Tibandu. It's exorbitantly priced, okay. I, I sincerely feel that airlines as well as the government <coughs> has a, a tremendous amount of responsibility in, in stepping into this area and making it more affordable for the destination. But a good component of that pricing is the airline fuel tax, which is a state levy. So, so, so the state, really that is where I said the government has a key, as a key player, should actually incentivize airlines to reduce the prices by reducing the air fuel tax. Some what states what have brought it down to one person. What, 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 what is 25 percent. Yeah. Which is one of the reasons why the prices are on the correct. Side. So, so there are the, the air, airlines also. I'm not. I'm not leaving only to the state, but the airlines also needs to come in and say that you know uh, there are many things that we talk about. Of course, there is demand and supply. Okay, mm -hmm. but that does not mean that in in key seasons you will just hike up the prices. Uh, there, there, there. Uh, I mean, uh, with the all the new airlines coming in. Initially, we all t spoke about flying in as cheap, but it is no more. But I can play devil's advocate there. Don't yes. hotel rooms become exorbitantly priced during season? Not exorbitantly. It, it again, uh, it is priced high, but then you can't. You you never price it higher than your tariff, do you? You can't. You, can't. you cannot. 
So where is the tariff in terms of airlines? Do the airlines have a tariff? Can they publish a tariff and say that this is my published tariff? On off season, I will give you this person discount. On season, I may may not give you that kind of discount. The hotels have published tariff. You don't. You whenever you say that is based on the the category of the hotel. We never price it above our our published tariff. I mean, just to add on to the tariff part. See, we have two different uh, types of airlines. We have airlines who are uh, full, full service, service carriers and the low cost carriers. Also. Yeah. Hmm. So the full service carriers have a structure of fares. They have fares from high season, low season, shoulder. But in terms of low service of, you know, the low cost carriers, they they are very dynamic. They're very dynamic. Very dynamic in terms of based on demand, the prices go up, which is similar in case of full service as well. But it's more structured. We can know okay what are the fares available. So uh, basically, if there is a operator who approaches an airline who knows that okay this fare is available, he can say, see, I can give you this business, give me this fare. But in case of uh, uh, low cost, there's no uh, such figure, or you can just give them a figure saying, okay, I can give you this much, can you give me? But there is no indication that this is a you know. Uh, so it's it's a little uh, tricky in terms <coughs> of uh, we're regulating those things. We had uh, DGCA regulating it earlier, but uh, they wanted more players to come in, more airlines, so they had to open up the gates. And uh, now India is uh, looking at opening more for more airlines to come in. So I think it's it's a matter of time when we have uh, more airlines coming in, more capacity. Naturally, the prices will go down because when you look at uh, big cities, except for uh, Delhi and Bombay, between them, the flights out of those cities are uh, most uh, cheapest. When you look at out of India to any of the other points, 